because it's kind of crucial to the story of the game. So this one's just going to be the uh, the game play. Nothing's changing or nothing's happening. It just happened to it's happened to fuck up. So anyway, I hope everybody uh, enjoys this part and is enjoying the series. And hopefully, this doesn't happen in the future. Time to requisition that transport and hightail it to the CDC. Wait, I need to make a transport request before I go. No idea what Gerard's number is. I should email him. Must be the only guy in the whole damn place who sleeps through trials. Sorry, buddy, but this is an emergency, all right. No idea what Gerard's number is. I should go see him. Sorry, Gerard, but this can't wait. Residential elevators at the other end. Hope Chopper's lab keeps you busy, boys. Busy for a long time to come. Here I come, Gerard. Try not to be too mad. Room 3D. What the hell happened here? Huh. Oh yeah, that must be him. Gerard snores like a dinosaur. Uh. What? Hey, Gerard, it's Dr. Pearson. I need to requisition a transport for tonight. What the hell for? to get into town. Research project. You woke me up for this? Hey, I tried to book it through the system, but you locked it down and said to come here. For emergencies only. So now you can damn well wait till morning. Good night, Doctor. Crap, I need that truck. Maybe if I could use his login somehow. Gotta get in there somehow. Open sesame. Thank you. 
F-class master key for the whole floor. Nice. A bunker full of geniuses and medics, but we still lock up the band-aids? Not exactly Fort Knox. Custom setup. What's he using it for? Oh well, Larson gets to keep his memories on the outside. Yeah, good call. Brothers is recording Larson's room. Must be part of his exit evaluation. I mean, I wouldn't want to get caught on camera. Shaw's a real audio freak. I've seen riot control sound wave cannons that make people feel sick, but this one makes people laugh. This one goes out to Gerard in room 3D. For now, anyway. Hang God it damn it, Shaw, sure. can't I even get some peace on a trial day? I'm going straight to security, and when I get back, I'm gonna tear up those speakers with my bare hands. Serves you right, you sanctimonious prick. You goddamn useless work, Sky Lapis. None of you is worth a shit. If the CDC blacklists me, maybe I could get a new career as a cat burglar. Gerard, it's Smythe. While Gunter is uh, away, we need you to keep a watch on Adam. We did what we could, but he's not ready to operate without supervision yet. Bingo. Just go down the checklist and don't screw around with the personality boards, okay? Shit, not even a passcode reminder. Come on, gotta be a clue around here somewhere. His dad's birthday? No, Gerard's not exactly the sentimental type. This is Gerard in F3. I'm busy. Leave a message. Hey, Cal. Cal, I know you're in there. Pick up the phone. Huh? Anton? Anton, how the hell did you know I was here? Sorry, Cal. But I can't let you leave. What are you talking about? You started this whole thing. I gotta get out of here or I'm a dead man. I can't explain here. Meet me in block I-1, room H. I-1? That's where the nanotech lab blew up. That place is still a wreck. What in God's name are you up to? Like you said, if you don't escape soon, you're a dead man. So come as fast as you can. Holy crap. The kids left me high and dry, and I'm carrying the goddamn evidence in my pocket. Come on, come on. Anton, what the hell are you up to? Hello again, Madeline. I hope you didn't mind spending some time with Dr. Pearson. Not at all, Dr. Chavez. It was very interesting. That's one way of putting it. Now, your next trial is ready. Oh, let me guess. Telepathic group therapy? You joke, but that's not too far from the truth. Behind every person's actions is the mind. And within every mind, the secrets they keep even from their own family. Are we talking metaphorically, or...? Each mind contains a puzzle. Solve that puzzle, and you can unlock the truth of each mind. Nope. Still no wiser. Approach the first subject, and examine the mind apparatus to begin. Hardly the high-tech I was expecting. 
you must energize every section of the brain by powering the correct combination of three synapses. You can switch each charge on or off as often as you like until you find the solution, but only three at once. He came to me for advice, you see. They'd kept it all secret from him. He thought Maddie was just taking care of her mother in hospital, not experimenting on her. Blood may be thicker than water, but love is like a rock. Bloody hell, that's Uncle Jack's voice. Where did you get this? You solved the first puzzle. Continue to the second mannequin. She knew what she was doing. She was brilliant. Why do you think I married her? But I had no idea she was doing anything wrong. The first I knew was when the tabloids started camping on our doorstep. I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to leave. This is outrageous! I applied for a job, not for you to harass my family. All will soon become clear. Continue to the third mannequin. And who's that meant to be? My bloody mother? Actually, yes. And I know you want to hear what she says. Solve the puzzle. The papers painted me as an unwitting victim, but I was a scientist, too. Of course I knew the risks, and for the sake of others, I was prepared to take them. I only had six months left anyway, so what difference did it make? I regret nothing. Oh, these aren't recordings at all. They can't be. How are you doing this? Is it some kind of computer? Very good, Manlin. You heard him before at the banquet. We call him Adam. Of course you do. So this is all a sight test, is it? See how I react to painful memories? Not just memories, Madeline. Proceed to the final mannequin. Hello, Dad. No man should face the dilemma I did. The agony of such a decision. But I knew my wife couldn't have been in her right mind to sanction this recklessness. She was all I had. And I thought my little girl was taking care of her. Not experimenting on her. And then I found Maddie's notes and saw what she'd done. I had no choice. I had to tip them off to make sure they did a second autopsy. What the? You lying bastards! What are you trying to pull here? My father didn't. He couldn't. But he did. I'm sorry, Madeline. The truth is always painful. But that pain will set you free. Liar! My dad wouldn't sell me out, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm sorry, Madeline, but you must progress to the next room. You are joking, aren't you? What the hell's in there? Your past. And your future. Hang on. This is Salzburg Cross, but... But it's in remission. This is amazing. How... Wait, is this just another simulation? Absolutely not. Open the briefcase. Wait, this... This is my work. You've been conducting trials based on my work. And taking it further. See how close you were? Look at what he took from you, because he couldn't see past his own fear. My father did what he thought was right. But he was wrong. And we can give this back to you. Get some rest in the waiting room. Your final trial begins shortly. God. 
That wasn't the final trial. What the hell comes next? Anton, you better be waiting. I've got to get out of here before the trials end. One H, one H. Gotta be here somewhere.